Um, okay, Monica, or Monique, excuse me. Question, John. I'm Jonathan, but I get it. Uh, question, John. I'm 53, looking forward to that special person. I have a disability that affects my mobility. I'm independent, but no longer drive. When do I disclose my situation? Love your energy. Thank you so much. That's a great question. So I think it's important to be, you know, if something is material to another human being, I think it's important to discuss it. Certainly, um, and, and this is where it gets tricky. Imagine if you had a venereal disease. Imagine if you had AIDS. You know, these are very tricky things. So I would prefer that you spend some time on the phone getting to know each other a little bit and do this over the telephone because um, this is just one perception. I'm not suggesting this is the right way, but ultimately, quite frankly, um, I, well, listen, I've worked with a woman who was in a wheelchair. I've worked with a woman that had multiple sclerosis. And so there might, I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's one of those uh, situations and they have found love. They actually, it's because they disclosed it up front to the person and the wrong person ran away or, or, or I don't want to say ran away doesn't seem, doesn't sound fair. He did that person didn't feel like it was a right fit for him. Imagine if a guy likes to climb mountains and likes to go hiking with his partner and likes to go skiing with his partner. Being with a person that can't be mobile wouldn't be a good fit for someone like that. So I think it's important to bring it up sooner rather than later because guess what? Um, it's going to come out anyway, and you might be surprised by. Yeah, it's funny, not. It's not a, a, a little while back, I was having a conversation with a woman and something happened uh, in our text exchange. And I kept silent on it until we actually talked on the phone and I brought it up. And I talked about it with her right before we met because I thought maybe this was a red flag. I repeat that. She said something that triggered me that felt like a red flag. And I brought it up to her. And it's so funny because it turned out to be nothing. It turned out to be nothing. Folks, I'm a big proponent. Speak your truth, do it with kindness. Remember my book, chapter one, speak your truth, do it with kindness. Because in chapter nine, if it's sincere and from the heart, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. So Monique, when you say, when you speak your truth from your heart, the right person is not gonna be affected by it. Only the wrong person. Um, I do believe it'd be best to meet people organically because then they visually see where you're at. Um, but then again, nowadays, most people are meeting through the internet these days, online connections. Um, so whether it is an online connection organically, I believe speaking up sooner rather than later is my invitation for you. Thank you so much for that question. Mm. All right. We are rocking and rolling on a Friday. <laughs> 